sitting out in my garden, maxing, relaxing, because it's absolutely beautiful outside. So, uh, yeah. Chris, that, that's really encouraging what you're saying in chat. Uh, what, what's, so what's little, the issue? little choke. Uh, you yeah? Can, you yeah. can kid He's around. He's being horrible, man. He's being that's... horrible. He's... <laughs> I was, you know, settling into the crowd. Okay, so he's, he's under peer pressure, guys, so do show Enrio some love in chat. Tell him, John, we love you, Chris. You don't have to bend to peer pressure. There's, there's really no off. need for that. You know, you've got to, guys. This is the uh, Fast Host Power Tournament, and this is for £5,000. The first place winner will walk away with 2750 of that, you know, beautiful prize pot. So everything comes down to this map for you, but let's see if they can uh, keep themselves into this. So, Finta scoping up towards mid. He spots a player going to mid shots and I must have called it to Sexax who's proned his way in there and Sexax on the prowl now peeks around and gets punished by Yo-Yo who expected that. And now the Yo-Yo pain train does continue as he does get peeked from that bin area. Well, baskets even but this managed to stay alive. Darky picking up the frag onto Fint and now leaving it all on Trunk and they know where he is as he just tagged up his teammate. So now let's see if Trunk gets up out of here, does put on towards Kaff but there Strove darts down at Kaff, drops him down with the AK. First round going to Avenue. Now, you know, we've seen both of their play styles. We've seen that. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah, what we have. To well, we've, we've seen one round of uh, Yo Yo's unorthodox positioning that has managed to pay off there. Yeah, so. for sure. Yeah, I mean, it's just one of those rounds where in individual play can, can win you the round. It happens so often in mm -hmm. COD. Um, yeah, for sure. Right. Enria, let's get a little bit of a pet from you. Yes. Awesome. Um, but yeah, no, overall, we've seen a lot of play. We've seen Avenue's very aggressive kind of uh, SMG style that uh, did work so well on the attacking sides. But then again, we saw how drilled in these Super were on City Streets to bring it back from the absolute brink of destruction. Now, whose playstyle do you think will suit more? You know, obviously on attack, with those SMGs let loose, I can imagine Zizor and Darky will be really ripping up these beside. But you yeah. are very drilled in. So who do you think the playstyle will suit more on this map? Right? Well, I mean, I'm going to going to keep saying Isuwa because I was right on the last map. <laughs> just! <laughs> Even there we go, Sex Axe just wrong. dropped a nade onto himself, that's a good start for him. But Zizor's made his way into Caf, and uh, Enrio doubting the avenue side, but I have full-fledged faith as Yo-Yo is just proving me oh so right with the AK frag onto Finn for Trunk with a reply onto Darky, taking down the SMG powerhouse. And then it's going to play for Avenue, Zizor into eight with Yo-Yo alongside. Yo-Yo shutting down Trunk, and that's the second round on the board for Avenue. And this attacking side is working really well for them. So let's pick it up with one of the scopes. Let's go for Finter here. Levy, actually, no, he's on 0 to 2. Let's not. He's letting me down currently, Finter. Let's go to Yohi, who is on uh, 2 to 1, just to really mix things up. Does get tagged up by the scope, actually. It must have been Finter just rattling off some shots. Sex Axe is pushing Treat, so let's uh, flick across to him. Made his way towards that mid-shop area. Spots one does uh, call it to his teammate. It must have been Trunk. Takes him down, and now Yo-Yo is down and out. Sex Axe knows there's another player in mid -shops. Can he get this frag? And that will really open up the street push and just give Isuba that real step into the right direction to get their you know, first round on the board. Sex Axe playing cautiously. Does not over because it does dart round, does get the tag. On to who is it? It was Zizor, but not for long. As finally Isuba kind of put themselves into this, but not before Yohi rattles off a shot into Trunk's face. Now leaving it in a four on three in favour to Isuba. So can they hold on to it? So let's see what Avenue are up to. Darky right amongst things. Let's see if Darky can get the frag on to Sex Axe to take back the street push. Let's find out. Darky Ironside and B's going to miss Sexax and there we go. Sexax positioned perfectly. Yohi takes take down Finter but now advantage still with Isuba and Sexax did really bring the game to the uh, Avenue side. Strobe does get tagged up. Troom takes him down and now three on one. Yohi to really pull things back if he can but there comes the players and it's Sexax and Sexax what a push. Feeling confident, feeling rough and ready. Pulling back a score onto the board for the Isuba side and you know it took it took them time but that's you know that street push did work really well. You know, it did yeah. I mean they managed to adapt straight away as soon as Avenue had been pushing mid they decided right, let's just do exactly the same. Yeah, and Sex has yeah. really really excellent play in mid shops by the way I mean there are not many places you can sit but he anticipated he the situation. It. Pick yeah, it up with him found, right now. His oh! Wow oh. how did that happen? Oh my god I feel so bad for Sexax right now because he got <laughs> shut down by an exploding car that his teammates been set on fire. But Darky is on a mission, folks. Picks up three quick frags. One onto Trunk, one onto Truman. You know that uh, critical kill at the start. On to uh, Sexax to see if he can keep other places. Uh, challenging at the bins. Darky gets a knife onto Fintel. And what a round from him. Zizor takes the last frag away from him. But uh, Darky really making the impact. I can't believe that kill at the start. <laughs> crazy, there. crazy stuff. Crazy stuff. That nade kill on him. That's. <laughs> So, you know, Cardboard as, as summarized. 
I, I'd, I'd be so upset right now if I was uh, in one of those players. Oh, Sex Axe in particular. DJ. But, uh, you know, Avenue, the, the way they're attacking is quite, you know, A-focused, but they're not using mid touch, you know. You know, from Phantasmagoria, how do you guys play this map? Well, I that'd be, that'd, be, uh, that'd be telling, wouldn't it? <laughs> no, I, I think uh, it's really a case of, you know, you want to take middle. I think first and foremost, middle. Um, go back to my big map, small map philosophy. It's a big map. You want to you want to take mid. If you can manage to take mid, you can decide, um, you know, which bomb site to go for. Because if you take middle, it's a case of discipline um, and waiting for the peaks. Otherwise, it's just you know straightforward A pushes and B pushes. And you know, as a team, you want to get your nades right, especially for an A push. Because if you get your nades right, you can get A quite easily. Indeed. And they're doing just that as they've locked down A with absolute ease. And the last man standing was Finter, but not for long. And Zizor pops out and takes him there as some G kill. And I can't believe how, you know, dominant Avenue are right now, Chris, because they are steamrolling yeah. where yeah, well, they I mean, you've got to remember that they, they drew with Western Wolves last night, 12 all on this map. It was on it strike. strike. It was on strike. So, you know, they're, they're not to be messed with on strike. They clearly know what they're doing. So let's pick up the Diesel here. Go for that cap. Well, let's see if he can be as boost as he was last time. Joey kicking off Avenue in the right direction, but uh, here comes Zizor. Can he get the frag on the front? Yes, he can. Finter with the reply, taking down the opposing scope. But Yo-Yo really keeping them in this round. And Darky doing just the same as now Misak is left in a world of trouble, folks. In a one-on-four situation, that is not where you want to be. And now the uphill struggle with 41 seconds on the board does begin. Spots on toward Bialy, darts back around. And he surely got to call out to his teammates who now know exactly where he is. Thanks to that lovely little mini-map. He comes out, but that top overlook player does punish him a touch, but Darky finishes him off, taking him down with the SMG with range, leaving the scoreline on 5-1 to one in favour to Avenue. And Zizor really with, you know, a fantastic push there, and, you know, obviously his teammates come in exactly where it mattered, but both of the SMGs have a real nice front spawn here. So let's pick it up with them. Let's see if Darky can uh, really make the odds. No fast nades. There is the fast nade taking down Darky. True throwing that little bad boy, but Zizor on the push still. Not stopping thrown on the pain train. I mean, it's in form of Zizor, I can imagine. Drops out the smoke to allow his teammates to cross. There's a player made into front A, but not before Stroke can take it down. What a simply sensational play from him. Six so with the reply front onto Yo-Yo, but... Uh, Almost all even. If they can get that frag on Fint and they can't do it now. Finally, Avenue on the back foot. Two players remaining to the four of the Suba. Yo, he gets shut down through mid. Sex what a play amazing. from Sex Axe. Really smart play from him. Does you know, predict exactly where he was. And he seems rather happy with that one. And surely he deserves it after that uh, car kill. After that on. car explosion, yeah. It's probably karma sure. coming back and <laughs> giving him a bit of justice. Indeed, and I want to just highlight what's you know actually working for Avenue on attack because it's it's rare to see you know a, you know a team on attack being so dominant against someone like Isuba, a team who really you know, obviously as you said drilled in nades, and I say that. Oh, sex 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 has, yeah. goes well, huge. I was gonna say was before Sex has got the nade kills that it's the early picks, <laughs> but it's also the personal sure. battles. Um, you know the Isuba SMGs that they're, they're losing the personal battles, especially to to Darky, um, who's actually been quite sneaky in the last few rounds. He's managed to push the street, get into B Alley. Get the picks and, and then wander off so they need to they need to be wary of him and uh, he super seems so inclined on taking middle at the moment they, they feel like they need to keep taking it whereas you know sometimes you don't need to take it if you can get into a if you can sit back deep um, you know, there's no need to take the take the battle to them. Just wait for them. Explosion. But it's, it's a very, you know, a, a common thing to do. As soon as you feel as though you're under pressure in front A, which you were by the SMGs of Avenue, I always say, you know what, guys, we don't have to keep A. Let's just take the street, you know. One sure, player said sure, double pump, yeah. use the street to rotate around and kind of, you know, herd them into A. But that, you know, I haven't played this game in a number of no, years. No, so no, I am you're not right. Today. No, absolutely, so, you're right. I'm, it's the most instinctive thing to do, but it, it's yeah, dependent sure. on the nades. I mean, if the nades are good okay. on A bins, then you, you want to try and take middle, especially if they're going in A quickly. Yeah. But, um, yeah, and that's what they're doing, yeah. Avenue, so... Alright, speaking of nades, I do remember actually playing against you on this very map, and you used to have a really annoying garage nade, which surely Avenue should be pulling out against Sex Axe, who's using the same <laughs> route again. Do that was so annoying that nade you did? I learned it from one of your demos, folks. So, okay, uh, that's, that's nice yeah, to know. It, yeah. It's really sad and annoying, but Sex Axe on the push once again, Trunk and Missak again, one for themselves, onto Zizor and Darky, taking down that powerhouse, who was uh, really ripping up these two besides Sex Axe with a lovely deagle on the Joe Heat, but does miss the player just above him. Troom, was that a nade into Overlook that I just saw? I think it was true. You've that. got to be feeling. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> sickened. I'm horrified. Now, it was all on yo yo, but not for long because Troom's there with the Deagle trained on him. But yeah, as I was saying, you know, I, as you said, nades are very pivotal these days. They are, you know, they can either stop a push that can actually tear you in two or not. And 
watching sex acts right now, he's abusing that street push so well. And you used to literally have a nade that landed just there. Just there. And it's really annoying. And there we go. Well, Yo, they, finally they must learned have heard it. You exactly. Yeah. They're listening to the stream, guys. And my knowledge is clearly better than anyone's. Don't you know who I am. <laughs> God, my ego. But now the B push has come out. But the nades are raining in for Avenue in the right direction towards sex acts and Troom. And the reply only in the form of Trunk onto Zizor. So now leaving Avenue with a distinct advantage this round. And only Misak and Fint alive for Isuba. Let's see if we can pull it back. Yo with another. Yo on the mission. The one man stands between them and another round. Is just really in the lead. And Joey's there. Takes down Misak. And it's 6-4. to four. And I, was I, I, saying, I don't think we've had any tense round so far. No, it's, it's just it's been... Steam each roll. team <laughs> steamrolling into each other, you know, a clash of the titans esque, really just <laughs> running into each other, killing each other, and then, and then proceeding to do exactly the same thing. So, yeah, I mean, I, I'd like to try and maybe watch one team sit back a little and wait for the other one to push, but yeah, again, but you see where everyone knows I'm how loving you guys it. Yeah. You're, you're, you're a slow <laughs> bunch of boring old men. You know, I, I, every right. time I hear, if I'm ever on another, you know, another team speaker playing against you, Jeez, these guys never push. God, they're so boring. You know, are, are you a real fan of playing <laughs> slow and carefully and working you know, together as a team slowly, working the picks, working the rotates? I, I think it, I think any good team is going to be able to mix it up. It's going to be able to mix it up at least. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm not saying playing slow. To one. Well, I'm, I'm a slow, you know, methodical player, no, so that's just me. You know, that's just the way I play. But I mean, in terms of... replicated uh, through your team or not? <laughs> probably rubs off on my teammates a little too much, yeah, so they're kind of following my lead. Oh, Finta! That's a fantastic shot there, that's great. Incredible, you know, that would have been the shot that I, I previously swore at, probably, on a previous stream. So, uh, Zizel with the front spawn for the attacking side, which is Avenue, who are currently leading the way on the scoreboard. So let's see if they can get, once again, into the advantage on the attacking side. They did it on Crash, let's see if they can do it right now. Zizor does avoid the nades, being very careful. Darty dropping one himself onto Troom, alleviating the pressure already. Yo-Yo is tagged up, though. Tron gets the frag onto Strove. Fint with the reply. So now, almost all even if uh, Avenue can pick up the frag. And now Zizor under a hell of a lot of pressure in A. He's made his way in, but there's a lot of players looking right where he is. And now he needs his teammates to step up to the plate and go, guys, help me out. I'm, I'm really pinned here. You can see that his teammates aren't too close. The flash comes in, just put him under a little bit of pressure, feeling cautious, feeling someone might be pushing me. Does peek up, almost to be dropped by the scope. But that uh, manages to dive back down into the beautiful prone position. Leaving Darky to go roaming. And he does do just Once that. Once again. Oh, look at this play. Leaving Zizor pinned, allow the teammates to go on the rotate. And Darky, simply incredible play. Very, very confident and it's doing perfectly well. But Sex Axe, let's not count him out yet, folks. Because he is in a one on three. But we've seen him go almost one on five. So maybe we can see some beautiful, sexy cod coming back for us. He does see one player towards Double Palmer. He does get tagged up by him. And he goes for the flying leap. Gets punished by Zizor. Proned by a bomb. And what a first half, you know? I, yeah, uh, cri yeah. Credit to Avenue once again. On the attacking side, they seem so strong. They they were. I mean, but I mean, the last round it was really Darky's play again. He's a bit of a bit of a lone ranger for Avenue. He's he's working the B area, the B street, and um, he's using it to great effect because mm. what you know, as an SMG, if there's a lot of gunfire going on on the other side of the map, you're going to try and use. Uh, your mic seemed to have cut out there. Oh uh, yeah, he, he did that perfectly. You know, he strolled into B. Managed to get the kills, and, and those are really crucial frags for your team because it just allows you, you know, it means the other team has to rotate. Um, oh, it's just my round God winning. Has crashed. Awesome. Um, I almost opened DT <laughs> as well. I was trying to reconnect that. Uh, okay, well, not a really problem. Good way to do things. So oh, you're going to have to. I'm going to just watch Finter here, and let's try and watch him oh, today. He was the player to watch. Made. I want to hear it. Um, I'm not quite good at that. As Troom actually takes out Darky with a nade. And uh, we're just going to carry on watching. It looks actually they've decided to listen to me and they're going for a slow round. Um, they, they must have heard me. And this is promising stuff from Isuba. So we're going to probably wait it out. They are a man up. And, and Trunk's taken the most unorthodox <laughs> position I've ever seen. It's literally all like the way back. He's decided to stroll into street though. He was actually behind uh. the bin. Um, and yeah, I, I'm liking this slow round approach. This is, is exactly this more, what we want. Is this more what you this feel is, This is more in Rio. Yeah, this but is, But I thought yeah. Jermaine was an aggressive AK. He is, he is. He's the most aggressive AK in the slow rounds. There you go. Oh, okay. So, you know, the best no, of the bad No, no, I, I can't take anything away from him. He is aggressive, <laughs> so... Well, I'm taking it away. I'm saying you've got to download those demos, folks, and prove me wrong and tell me exactly what's going on. But Misak is missing a player just by an inch on his screen. And it was Zizor who punishes him for not checking his corners, folks. You know, that's that's rule 101. That's You've got to look at your corners before you miss those players because you can give away rounds. And now it's all on Yohi. And he's left in a one-on-three. Let's see if he can 
arguing this nice. round. I think under we're going to see more of that. There. We're going to see more of Isuba yeah. going slow. Yeah, they're, they're mm. a bit more notorious for, for going slow. And, Boring um, is what you It's want. it's you know another game of two halves. You look at City Streets. Mm. They're going to show Avenue how to play strike in a completely different way, and who knows? It might just pay off for them. Well, let's find out. Let's pick it up with it here. Actually, let's switch across to Trump, who's darted into front A, feeling very aggressive. Oh. But Sexax takes down Zizor. And now Trunk shot down by Darky at that cap palm area. Darky getting the better of the SMG power. Let's see if Troom can do any better. No, he can't because Strove is there with the SMG trained on front A. And Darky on a roll. Takes down Sexax as well, leaving only two players standing for Isuba, Misak and Finter. Fint does get tagged up. That is the scope for Isuba, so he's got to be careful because he's normally got the range element. You don't want to be giving away your position so readily. But let's see what Avenue you're up to. Darky holding the cap peak, very careful. Here's that player jumping down from Overlook, surely calling it to his teammates, and is Misak in the middle of the street. Does get the tag, but not the frag, onto a double palm area. Tagged up himself, has to dial away. He's got himself stuck in the window of Midshop. But now, let's find out where Isuba are planning to go. They look like they're happy on the street right now. Misak feeling confident in Midshops, peeking around, because Avenue are being very, very disciplined. Finter feeling like he wants to go away, feeling like that's the place he wants to be. Iron sighting up with the with the scope, trying to get a little bit of that range element in here. Let's see if he can put it to use. Peeking towards stat. Nothing much happening. The uh, dedicated play from Avenue coming up so good right now. Just putting the pressure on Isubo. I can imagine there's a little bit of an exchange coming out soon from Darkie and Misak, and it's done just that, and Darkie gets the better of him. And now Finder in a one on three. Finder getting the frag onto Yo Yo. But now, three more to find. Clock ticking 12 seconds, but not for long as he does get the frag on Destro, but not before Darkie can shut him down with the SMB from such a long range. Darkie playing really well in A right now. You know, if you're a Isuba and you're playing slowly, how the hell can you allow an SMG to go that wild in A? Normally, yeah, you know, as an SMG, I feel completely locked out of the game when a you know, team's playing. <laughs> Play so. slowly. That, that's my best advice. They didn't play slow. They, they tried to rush A there. They went for something ah, different. But, you okay. know, Trunk really missed a few crucial bullets there because he could he should could and should have taken out the guy at Statue. But he didn't do it. So the split has come out from Isuba. And let's see if they can switch it up once again. Strove takes down Misak. A little bit of an exchange of frags earlier on in the round, but it's left it in a three on three with Misak, I believe, alive. Finter and uh, Troom. Troom on the prowl at B. Bomb in garage, so the bomb can rotate either side. That's not uh, right it out yet. And I think it was a bit of an overlay bug because I see Sex Axe alive as well. Sex Axe coming back round to eight. Try and get any of those early peaks and picks in Darky on the prowl in Overlook. But flicking back to where's the bomb? It is with Fint that does get tagged up from that BL area, hoping his teammate Troom will peek out soon and help him out and get this B site or not because Troom's now making his way around. But there's a player just behind him. It is Yohi dropping out the nade towards B bomb and surely that's going to make all the difference currently because Joey now spots the SMG player. Troom shuts him down. Sex Axe with a frag for himself on the Darky now. It's all even, but not for long as oh, Fint's there Finter. and that was a little bit too close for comfort surely for Isuba they weren't yeah, split there yeah Joe he but, was uh, quite sneaky there they nearly let him get away I mean it's uh, it should have been a simple call and Troom, Troom just looked a bit, little bit lost as he tried to hunt for him but just <laughs> yeah, managed to get the frag at the end indeed but just give you guys a little bit of an idea of who's playing really well right now Darky on 19 to 9 and the next person who's even anywhere near is Sexax on 14 to 8. So those two making all the headway currently. Strove dropping an aid onto Trunk's face though, getting this round in favour to Avenue already. Let's see if they can bring the game to Isuba as now Yo picks up one onto Misak. And this could be another little uh, notch on the bedpost for them saying, Jop, we took down Western Wolves almost. But now we're going to do it to Isuba. Let's find out. Avenue with five players remaining to only three of Isuba. And the uh, slow pay play may not be paying off, but there is a player right amongst the uh, Avenue boys. I believe it is Troom, so let's pick it up with him. Troom in at B. Bombs at Flower, so he's trying not to commit too much with that bomb. Allowing Troom just to get those picks, alleviate the pressure. He's doing just that, taking down Yo-Yo. Can he keep this up now? Three people remaining. Let's find out. Spots on towards Double Palm. He does get the frag onto him. That was Strove, but not anymore, folks. There's now only two people remain for Avenue. Darky and Zizor, the SMG combo. Let's see if they can keep themselves into this round. So now Nade's flying out. Zizor on the go. Troom taking down Dark Zoo. And now Zizor spots one towards that little bit of a spawn car. Takes down Troom with a fantastic headshot. Now two people range. Sexax and Finter. And Finter's there with the Eagle. Shutting him down. And Finter, you know, played really well that round. Opening up the sides as a match. Excellent. Yeah, excellent team Slow play. working B. Yeah, indeed. It's a yeah, very rare uh, thing to I see mean, a it, slow that's B round. <laughs> Why? Well, there's probably a lot, a lot more teams actually do it now, but... It's just a case of they actually spoke day. to each other. <laughs> Back in your day, yeah. No, excellent, <laughs> because Troom actually cleared everything out for them, and once he did that, you know, he made mm. the call, Finter got the pick, and they went into B as a team. And, you know, it's yeah. just 
what we didn't see on on city streets or and crash actually so they're, they're definitely changing something up yeah so the scoreline at the moment is eight to eight rounds folks it's all even on map difference let's see which side comes out better on the decider which is strike currently and this is for the fast host power tournament with five thousand pounds on the line and the first place winner of 2750 everything matters every peak every kill every inch you take in this map takes you a little bit closer to that money. So a big thank you to Fast Host for uh, helping out the Epic Land team, as well as Game Shadow for bringing us some fantastic prize pot into Call of Duty 4. So now, only even this round, four on four. Bomb with Finta in A, feeling very aggressive with the scope, quite unusual to see. And you can see just why, because that's allowing Strove to peek from that A bomb, taking down Sexax, leaving Isuba with a disadvantage. Joe Heat spots one crossing the road team. No, it's an A now. Calling it to his teammates. Say, sit back, relax, guys. We can get this. Yo, 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 and stroping up a frag. Each Finter with a reply onto Strove. Now it's all on Finter. Can he keep up the pressure? 20 seconds on the board. Dance round is stuck a touch of statue with a bomb, though. So if he gets going, gets those running shoes on, there may be a chance, but not for long, because Darkie peeks out. And he's there to secure well and one more round. And very well defended there by the other yeah, side. It seemed like a slow A push didn't really work that time. Yeah, well, I mean, discipline, uh, and exactly what I was talking about when you see we're playing defense. <laughs> why, why push mid when you can prone in silly corners in A? And that's exactly oh, yeah. what Avenue did there. Silly corners, that's just me. Yeah, it works, <laughs> unfortunately. <laughs> So guys, do get this stream link out there. We are trying to actually use Owned as well, you know, Owned TV. It's a new venture for us, so um, tell me what you think of that, guys. Check it out, it is on the Tech9 post. This round is seeming like another slowly played one from Isuba, but the uh, B push is definitely on. Fint with the bomb once again. The teammate by his side. I'm trying to find out who that is. It was Sex Axe who died off to B shops. But now Yo-Yo, under a hell of a lot of pressure, takes down Troom, though. But now Isuba just have to play the waiting game. But as I said, this is map is uh, the decider for this one and it does really matter to these guys because Avenue can really put their name in the book so far. If they pick up this one, a Uber of all teams, I don't think any of us could have seen that happening earlier on. So now Yo-Yo with that AK at B. There's three players around him. The fire is coming out onto that street. Misak feeling quite aggressive but uh, not overly peeking. You can see how cautious Avenue are having to be. Very disciplined play from them. Not overly peeking. I, I always wanted to go walk about and go running and peek everything I could, but uh, Avenue seemed to have that on lockdown, but not before Sex that can take down Yo-Yo, and now the push is on, folks. Isuba dominating this B-site right now, and Joe, he does take a stand and takes down Sex Axe as well. Dark through the frag for himself, and now Isuba on the back foot. The bomb is down, but not for long, as Finter oh. does get taken down by Yo-Yo, and what a retake. That slow B-play, that very... TCM-esque back in the day B play. This doesn't seem to be working as well. That slow kind of A push seems a little bit more dominant for Isuba, but so far they're yeah, letting yeah, Avenue well, back in. Not, they're not sure how to counter Avenue because you know they're doing the right thing. Avenue is sitting in and they're just waiting for Isuba. And you know Isuba tried to pour in there, but it's just good discipline by Avenue. And I can't see how they're going to change it up unless they go quickly. They need to go somewhere quickly now. So yeah, uh, as a team of Jeremy prefers that slow play style. Is it quite easy for you guys to switch from playing quite reserved, quite slowly, to being aggressive and really bringing the game to... Do you think, you know, it takes a certain calibre of player to be able to, you know, adapt to that much? Do you think, you know, obviously the likes of Vaycan, he's been known for being an extremely aggressive SMG. But yeah, can the sure. rest of the team obviously... Um, yeah, of course. Can they yeah, do I mean, well? yeah, I mean, as a team, you've got to be able to do it. and It's just a case of confidence and sometimes you can't over-evaluate situations and you just got to go for it. I mean, just as Avenue showed in on City Streets attack, I know they lost City Streets, but just bomb it in and just get in there sometimes. I mean, obviously, the problem is, is that... Oh, I just saw that. That was... Uh, good, is it? Yeah. No, <laughs> could be crucial. But yeah, bomb it in and once you get the kills, then that's fine. I, I Yeah, I... I have a terrible habit of overthinking things generally, you know, I I do remember Mike Cahill actually mentioning a couple of things that have always stuck in my damn mind that, you know, really make it hard to SMG at times. Oh wow, what a little fake on the cross, but yo, he finally picked up the frag onto Troom after that, I think it was mishap from the little zigzag on the cross, but this is looking like another Avenue round, folks, and yo, yo, you're really cementing this one, and just a few more rounds, and Avenue have taken down the absolute power that is Isuba, and that not, is not sensational. Not just yet, we might be in for a comeback. <laughs> But they're, they're nearly there. Yeah, I mean, the main exactly. thing with Avenue is that, um, you know, there was a lot of controversy on Tech 9 with them not actually being seeded uh, for the mm. for this tournament. You know, they've grouped up with these Subas, so, you know, they're yep. proving their doubters wrong by, by with a really strong exactly. showing here, so. 
indeed. Yeah. And you know, I had a massive issue with the people who were, you know, really giving Winbarra, you know, a, a talking to about seedings. Now I'm thinking, you know what? If you deserve a high seeding, you'll get there anyway. One way or another, you'll have to play these teams. One way or another, you know, however you get seeded, however you get put, you should come against them. If you think you can beat them, you'll beat them. If you can't, you can't. That's as simple as it is. You have yeah. bad games, don't get me wrong, but at the end of the day, you'll face up to them. Yohi know, with a fantastic frag on to Troom there, taking a stand and just really locking Isuba out of this round, but it's all even. So can Yohi hold off the ever-attacking Isuba side? Let's find out. As there are three players converging on his position currently. Sexax does get tagged up, but not for a lot. As now Yohi on the push does feel aggressive with that deagle. It does tag up Darky a hell of a lot. Actually, don't no, get me wrong. I believe it was uh, Vinter there. Does tag up. I believe it's Sexax as well. Now finally he's taken down. He's going to be kicking himself for that one because he must be feeling as though he deserved both of those kills. Now Sexax in control of the troop. There's the player right in the middle of things. It's Zizel there, but not for long. I can imagine he's tagged up so heavily. Bomb now ticking. 40 seconds on the board. Sexax with the frag and Finter with the final one. Really keeping Isuba just into this thing. It's it's not over yet, folks. I almost called it too soon, maybe. Isuba's still into this. You know, and but, I, yeah, I can't I mean, believe it. No, oh, I, I can't. I wouldn't be surprised if Isuba bring this back. I mean, they're making it hard for themselves <laughs> every Tell map. Me. I mean, maybe they maybe they just enjoy the thrill. Maybe they're just a little bit bored and they said, you know what? Well, let's make this a little bit exciting for ourselves. But you know, team play sh is shining through. Wow. So look to get another round here. The TNT combo, which is Trunk and Trim, really pick up the frags that matter. Then Trunk straight into a no worries. Flashed out bins, dropped the nade, picked up the frag as well as his you know, SMG teammate. Now locking it down, but this seems more like the Isuba we know and love. Yo, finally taking a stand for Avenue, but uh, does pick up the frag onto Troom as well. And this looks like it could be a fantastic round for him. Sadly, not as Isuba are bringing the scoreline back to 11. I've seen bigger games come back from Yo, obviously further away scorelines, but I can't believe yeah. Avenue are allowing this to happen. Could, could be the same as Crash. I mean, I spoke about how a little bit of an experience goes a long way in terms of closing out matches, mm -hmm. but closing out matches is, is so difficult. You know? you, you're yeah. so eager to try and get that. That twelfth round, especially, uh, you kind of push oh, yeah. maybe a little bit too much. Maybe that's just happened as Darky did pick up the first frag onto Trim, but gets shut down immediately by Misak with the revenge frag. But Isuba, here we go. Finter shuts down Yohi, the opposing scope and experience coming into play. The uh, veteran gamers that are Isuba, clearly backed by the biased and Rio, um, <laughs> <laughs> to really get themselves back into this round. So. Isuba getting control of that street and just working the sites very slowly, very carefully, but working them well. And they're not overly peaking, they're not overly committing. And here we go, Sexax on the prowl towards that lower spawn house area. You can almost smell the player there. You see Yo-Yo setting up at Kex's corner. Doesn't want to stay too long, so you can imagine the push is coming on. Strobe does rotate a touch to try and keep the ever-attacking Isuba forces away. But Finta and Misak now together, making their way through the streets, trying to knock off every single area. Clinically, Finta, what a shot onto Yo-Yo. Can Misak land the shot? I believe it's onto Strove. Trunk takes down Zizor and now it's all on one man to really keep him in this game. And Finta, Finta takes huge. him down. Finta, what a round. Great Showing round experience really coming up key. Yohi switching scope clearly because you know, I heard a fantastic story from Kex once that you know, when the black scope's not working, geez, if I switch up to the green one, it'll make all the difference. It's never me playing wrong, <laughs> it's the scope, right? So uh, there is no actual difference. I, I can't imagine from one bullet, but it is all A lot of scopes currently. do it, though. I, see, I do see a lot of scopes do it. It's hey, I, I hear Desert Camo can uh, reduce recoil, so <laughs> Duff has been talking to me again. Oh, yeah, so, of course. Indeed. No one dropping to the early nades of Frank, which is quite unusual on strike. You know, I obviously, from my point of view, I, I enjoy catching nades, but, you know, this, do, do you find it quite unusual that no one's really catching those early nades? It's, it's because of the round situations. It's because it's 11 all. You know, neither team really wants to kind of dive in there head first. And, and that's why both teams are really sat far back at the moment, because it's going to be tense. Yep. It doesn't matter who you are, where you are on the map, you're really tense at the moment. Oh, you say that, but Finta is raining absolute fire on the avenue currently with that headshot ringing out into Yo-Yo's ears and taking him down. The reply coming in from Yo-Yo, he switched up that, that uh, scope before and it's working well. So now the A push is coming in, but you have to be careful because there's two players sat in there. Can you believe it? Let's see who's actually made their way to there. Is Darky oh. close? Takes down Trunk. Can he continue the pressure? Let's find out. Darts around to front A. Going to herd in those Isuba boys. Maybe even bring them back with a little bit of luck. Here. Yo, taking down Finta. Now leaving Isuba with only two men standing. Both, I believe, in A. Darky with the frag onto Drew. One man is left at front A. Darky, can you finish off? Yes, you wow. can. Wow, how did he get that? What kill? an eagle. <laughs> I couldn't even see him.
but uh, apparently Darkie could, and that's all that mattered, because this is the round that matters, folks. This is the one to define who walks away and gets through this round. Pick it up with Finton out. Bomb to hand. Scope for the super side. Let's see if he can get that first pick. No, he can't. Yo, his eyes are trained on the peak, and that could be the frag they need to cement this round front with the re revenge frag onto Zizor. But Yo, picking up one for himself, leaving the advantage within Finu's hands. Can they keep it up? Let's find out. Three men standing, free Suba. Not feeling too confident right now. Sex Axe at B. Player in B shops too. With the bomb. I believe it's Troon with the SMG. Trunk holding front A, push and peak. But this is not looking good, folks. Your e Suba fans must be feeling rather like you've got to wipe that sweat off your brow because I can imagine they're doing just the same thing. Strove does get tagged up, though, but doesn't drop down. Bomb loose by B. Just to allow these players that little bit of range to peak Troom on the push. Troom feeling confident. He's got to do it. He's got to break this defence to get his team in there. Darts back round because Trunk is getting overlooked. He's trying to get a better picture of the whole street. Trying to help his team out, but no one is peaking. You can see how much this matters right now, folks. Because if they overly peak, they could allow us to are back in here. And they're doing just that because Troom is now pushing to be. Does get the tag onto Yo-Yo. I can imagine at Kex's corner now. Sexless takes down Strove. All even. Three on three. Can you believe it? I can't believe it. Avenue even letting them back into this round. Yo goes for the peak, but not the peak. Doesn't get the tag at all onto Troom. Just allowing themselves to get the peak. Now Yo he coming round to help out his teammate. Does spot one player there towards B. Takes down Sex Axe, and that could make the odds. The Sex Axe is now down and out. And leaving is very much all down to Avenue. It's all on Troom, but not for long. Darky, wow. what a headshot. Can you believe it, folks? And there we go. Avenue, the up-and-coming team, some might say, have taken down the giant.